Sampras won the toss, will serve. He has won set. five of Pitan six lifetime Ready. against Kachera. Play. Their last meeting, the 1999 World Team Cup, oh. Germany on clay. Fifteen love. Pete Sampras started off the tournament right where he left off, not dropping serve in his first match. And last year in the tournament, he dropped serve only five times. So he knows what to do out there. This little flick pass shot by Kuchera. Fifteen all. Sampras has won his second round match here at Wimbledon in straight sets in each of the last seven years. Last time he was extended to four sets in the second round was back in 92 against Todd Wolveridge. Mm. 30-15. Now Pete Sampras would like to see Carol Kuchera hitting a lot of one-handed running passing shots. That's, that's not his go-to shot. Chair, of course, with a two-handed backhand. Oh. What was your 14, feeling 15. about Sampras's opening performance against Yuri Vonnik? I think that was just what the doctor ordered for Pete Sampras. He got out there kind of got the question marks of, of uh, he had the potential problem in his hamstring uh, uh, leading into the tournament in practice. And I think he got that out of his mind by going out, winning comfortably, didn't exert too much effort or energy out there. I think that was just what he needed to get into this match. In game Sampras, very sharp opening game by Pete Sampras. First so game. the good start by the defending champion and Pete Sampras has won five of six against Carol Kuchura even beating him on clay in their last meeting although that that is not an official tournament they the counted on your record but it doesn't count for ranking it's one of the warm-up tournaments before the French Open I'm, I'm not even sure why they even put that in there honestly are you taking a shot at the uh, TNT graphics department once again? No, I'm taking a shot at the ATP oh, tour. Oh, I see. I just want to make sure who it was directed at. Let's clarify that. Absolutely. I would say it's uh, the fault of both. <laughs> oh, Pete Sampras loves the running forehand. He uses it so effectively. Love Such a team. great athlete. He gets over there effortlessly, just whips it cross court. No play for Kuchera. Ooh, ooh, a late Love call 13. there. Kuchera gives a look. The winner of Sampras Kuchera will take on. As you look at that, whoa, very close call. Not so sure. Yeah, looked like it might have uh, made contact. The winner of Sampras Kachero taking on Justin Gimmelstadt and qualifier Michael oh. Loda of France. Good opportunity for Gimmelstadt to get out into the big time, playing Pete Sampras potentially in the third round. Nice forehand. What we will see from Kuchera, he does like to play the ball early 15, and he does 15. like to go down the line. He's not a power player necessarily. He likes to use his opponent's power, smooth the ball down the line. He's a, he's a very, very silky mover on the court. And we will see some of that from him as well. We will see him with the ball toss. It's a very high ball toss. Sometimes it doesn't go in the right spot. He catches it. Very 
tries to take it up 14. the line, just wide with that shot. I'm not so sure the backhand down the line to Pete's forehand, the running forehand in particular, is going to be a great play for him today. If Pete's feeling well and moving well, Pete likes you to go to his forehand so he can go over there and sting it cross court. Double break point here. Thirty forty. And here on center court, Sampras has been invincible. Thirty two and one on center court. The only loss to Richard Krychek back in nineteen ninety six. Krychek, the only man to beat Sampras here at Wimbledon the past seven years. That's just amazing. Wimbledon, the biggest of them all, comes to play every year, Pete Sampras. Ooh. Cute. Sampras had the shot he wanted. See him practicing it afterwards, saying, how did I miss that? He's disappointed in himself. Got the shot he wanted. Sometimes Pete will lay out in the backhand side of the court and just Try and bait you to go to his forehand so we can run over there and sting it. Oh. Advantage Sampras. Break point for Sampras. by Kuchera to come in, serve and volley. A little bit of a surprise. Hasn't done too much of it the opening game, so he picks break point, comes in and plays a nice off volley behind Sampras. Back to Deuce. Net first serve. Advantage Kuchera. A little bit of an overplay by Sampras there. He hit that huge, but it was going back to the middle of the court, so he, he was going to be in trouble regardless, even if that went in. Kuchera would have had an easy cross court forehand winner there. In game Kuchera. Carol so, Kuchera. Full serve. One game old. Kuchera, most recently at the Queens Club, knocked out in the third round. French Open beat, beaten in the third by Franco Squillari of Argentina after he defeated Andre Agassi in four sets in the uh, second round. Agassi was hurting. He called out. The linesman there bit his tongue. Called yes, sir. made a noise. That was uh, Rudy Berger of Germany, the chair umpire. Indeed, the, uh -huh. he started to make an out call, saw that the ball was in, tried to stop it, but it was already out there. You have to play a let on that. You hate when you can't control those noises. <laughs> let us yes, sir. Running over here to center court, I'm glad we can control our breath. We're on the sprint Jim, today. You have been working out feverishly for these little sprints between the courts. Ah. 15 love. An emphatic call of out. 15 love. He 
Kate Sampras, the number one seed for the fifth straight year, seven of the last eight. Agassi was number one back in 95. Totilo. Nice body serve by Sampras there, handcuffing Kuchera. Well, there's John McEnroe in the BBC booth. Oh, looks like he and Pat Cash are having a good time in there. I'm not sure the British are ready for those two. Little double duty for John McEnroe. Might change the landscape of broadcasting here in Great Britain. I heard him earlier today use a Louis Tiant reference. Oh. Not sure they would get that. 40 love. The chair doesn't like that call. Rudy Berger, a veteran chair umpire, been in the game a long time. Both of these players will have a lot of respect for him. They know that he's not afraid to step in and overrule if he sees a clear mistake. That's what a player wants. He wants someone who's in control. Look at that. Game Sampras. Wow. Pete Sampras, hold serve. Moments ago on court two, Jan Michael Gamble serving for match point to Fabrice yeah, Santoro. And Three that sets to one. Four, six, Jan Michael six, Gamble, four, the 23 year old out of Spokane, Washington, advancing to face Paul Goldstein in the third round. Earlier, we showed you the marathon four hour plus match. Goldstein able to defeat Jeff Tarango. This is a good opportunity for both of these players. Whoever wins this match, going out to the fourth round in that bracket with Tomas Inquist, not noted as a strong grass quarter. A big all. opportunity for two young Americans. Back to center court, 15 all. Carol Kuchera serving to Pete Sampras. The high ball toss. Oh, mm. tough gig calling that middle service line. 13-15. Incidentally, Inkvist is up two sets to love in the third set. Inkvist is a very good player. He just hasn't had great success here at Wimbledon thus far in his career. This could be his breakthrough year. Question regarding closing out matches mm -hmm. with Thomas Inkvist. A little bit. Forty fifty. Guys do know that about Inquist. You hang around at the end of the matches. You never know if he's going to give you a couple opportunities to get back in it. 40-15. It's Sampras. Gunning for a seventh Wimbledon crown and a record breaking 13th Grand Slam championship. Trying to break the record that is held by Roy Emerson. And Pete Sampras currently at number 12. Game Kuchera. Both players were two, two all now. Four. Seems like they're. Trying to feel each other out. Sampras had an opportunity early to get the break. Couldn't do it. Had that running forehand. The shot he wanted missed it. Sure would love to have that break in hand now, but he's he's got to focus down. Bear down on his serve. Just keep holding serve. 15 love. Rocket serve by Sampras. He just blew that one right by him, right into his body. That one didn't come close. You have played Pete so frequently, and I know you, you hit with him from time to time. What do you try to do against the serve? Get it back. Oh, <laughs> Any way Thank you, you can. <laughs> it's uh, so 15 uh, on. A little careless on that volley as we see Pete's fiance now, Bridget Wilson, looking on stoically. She's learned quickly. The, uh, the fiance's task here is to remain uh, very oh. much poker faced well. so her man doesn't see uh, any tension on her face. 
He doesn't need any extra pressure. There's are, plenty are those, on the court for him. Are those instructions from Pete? Because she has been all over the, the tabloids, as you'd expect here. A beautiful passing shot by Kachura. I think that when you're with Pete Sampras, you just have to know that we see Kuchera just line this up and take that right off the court. He, Pete would probably, he would probably tell her, you know what, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't like to see you up there going crazy. Right. I'd like you to just be pretty calm. I'm a pretty calm guy. Let, let's keep it together here. And that will go long. 30 old. And as an actress, I'm sure she's right. very much in control of her emotions and uh, her facial expressions. They are engaged. Uh, Sampras uh, said that uh, he and Bridget became engaged after he was beaten in the first round of the French Open on May the uh, 29th. He said there wasn't anything positive oh. about losing at the French except the engagement. That's the way to get over it very quickly. Kuchera made a nice return there. Got Sampras to volley up to him. Lined up the lob. Didn't come close with it. Like to have that one back. Don't know how many better chances he's going to get against Sampras' to serve. 30 all. Whoa. Relatively easy passing shot there. I think he should have gone ahead and ripped it rather than try for the finesse shot. Game Sampras. Sampras holds serve. Sampras up 3 2. In the first. Three games to two, first set. Welcome back to Wimbledon on TNT on an overcast day here in London, which is no surprise, although we've been kind of fortunate with the weather. There have been some suspensions, postponements, but things have moved along quite well. We're on center court. Carol Kuchura serving to Pete Sampras. Nice return Love by Sampras. Kuchera goes for a bigger than normal second serve there. Trying to catch Pete off guard. Pete's not buying into it. He stays home and takes it right down the line for a clean winner. Fifteen old. Wow. Did that look out? <laughs> Let's see this replay. Oh, my goodness. We need super slow-mo for that. That was very close. Fifteen all. There you see the quickness of Kuchera. Well, they... They have nicknamed him the 3015. The little cat. His coach is Miloslav Machir. And Kachera grew up uh, watching Machir when he first began playing, tried to imitate Machir. And Machir's nickname when he was playing, the big cat. Absolutely. It all makes sense. Absolutely. 4015. And that, uh, due to his uh, quickness and the fact he was so effortless, although he was. A tall at 6'3", Kachera is 6'2". Uh, Are there similarities in their play? Very much so. Uh, he definitely studied Machir's game when he was a youth. Machir was a player who didn't have a big serve, but he would take the ball early, use the lines on the court. Uh, very intelligent player, and I think Kuchera fits that mold as well. well say goodbye. <laughs> Pete Sampras gets a forehand like that. Let's just 40, look. We'll, we'll just look for the next ball. We know that point's over. Oh. Neither of these guys have been serving particularly well so far in the match, but we're, it's still early. Game Kuchera. Kuchera. Old serve once again. 
So there are three games apiece three games in this opening set. Once again, Pete not able to find the range on that running forehand. Apart from his serve, that might be his most dominant shot. Still early in the match, though. Law 15. Taking the return very early there, Kucher, even coming in off the return off Pete Sampras' first serve. Not too many guys would be able to do that. I wouldn't instruct them to, anyway. Just missing. Talking a moment ago about the fact that during your playing days, you would hit with Sampras during practice times. Any advantage in facing the serve during those sessions? Would it help you when he went up against Sampras 30, as we see another terrific serve wide by Sampras? That you might get accustomed to it when, when you're playing him in a not, game? Not if you look at my record against Pete Marv. <laughs> Pete's serve, uh, unfortunately for his opponent, fortunately for him, is unreadable. He hits the same toss. He can hit it at all three spots on the court. 30 all. As Gutierrez makes a nice return at Pete's feet there. He throws it up. He can take it wide. He can take it right down the tee. Rarely will he go in your body, but occasionally he will, just to keep you honest. And I practiced with him a ton, and I still never knew where he was going to serve. The only thing that, that you would get out of practicing with Pete is you get a feel for where he likes to go against you on the big points. And against me on the big points, Pete tended to like to go right up the middle. 14-30. He does hide the, the delivery. He hides it, and the thing is, is he can... He, he changes his speeds very well, too. Occasionally, the second serve will come in around 95 to 100 miles an hour. Then he'll throw you the 115-mile-an-hour the second serve, and, and you're caught off guard. You just never really know what you're looking at. Maybe John could use a Louis Tiant <laughs> reference here as well. Uh, Beautifully done. Sampras taking a four games to three lead, and we'll be back at Wimbledon in a moment. Carol Kuchera to serve. Sampras up 4-3. Paul Anacone, the longtime coach of Pete Sampras. Again, uh, going to the uh, the rally style with the baseball cap. He's got the rally cap on <laughs> early. Uh, perhaps he's going with the reverse philosophy, and when, if Pete needs help, he'll flip it around to the front. Just we saw that through the uh, opening round match. Just kooky. <laughs> Correction. Interesting to see what the umpire does with this. Low. Pete had a play on that ball. He didn't swing at it. If Pete swings at this and touches it, he gets a let. He could have easily just stuck his racket out and touched that ball, but we'll see what he's saying to Rudy Berger here. If he manages to touch that ball, it doesn't matter if it goes anywhere near the court, he would get a let, but because he let it go, that's Kuchera's point. Carol Kuchera, 26 years old, from Bratislava in the Slovak Republic. 15 old. Double faults. Kuchera in the first round this past Monday beat Wayne Black of Zimbabwe in straight sets. Unseated here at Wimbledon. At one point, ranked as high as number six in the world. That was back in late 1998. And having his difficulties with the serve. He is. Just doing his first double fault. And he's been known to have some double fault problems from time to time. That high toss. Could get in the way. 30-15. Sampras is helping him out. Throwing in an unforced error. Thirty-old. 
That ball hit a, looked like it hit a funny patch on the court, skidded underneath Kuchera's racket. Sampras put a little extra oomph on that one as well. It's a nice one-two combination, 30. taking it right down the tee, and then going right back up the line. Sampras moving in the other direction with the, the flow of the serve. Very difficult time getting back to that shot. 40-30. Game Kuchera. So Kuchera. Hold serve. And they're even at four. Sampras. Pete Sampras. In the past, winner of five of his six meetings against Carol Kuchera. Kuchera's only win over Sampras took place in the Australian Open in 1998. Did it in the quarterfinals in four sets. And there it is, down the line. Kuchera likes that shot. Kuchera is not afraid of the big players Love in the Grand 15. Slams, Marv. Beating Agassi just a few weeks ago in Paris. He's not afraid. Love 30. Love 30. It's not a great volley by Sampras. Pretty good passing shot to put him in that position by Kuchera. Sampras guesses right, can't control it. You see the effortless movement from Kuchera here. Net first serve. First real danger for Pete on his serve so far in this match. See if he goes for a little something extra on his second serve, which sometimes he does when he's down. Kuchera was 15, looking for it. 13. Couldn't control it, but he was there. Are we looking at the best second serve in the game? Without question. He's accurate, he's heavy with it, and he changes up. His placement. And he backs it up at the net as well. I don't think tennis has ever seen a second serve like Pete Sampras's. Good bye. 30 all. Two good serves to pull him back to 30 all. Chair has got to be wondering what he has to do. He gets him at love 30, has a second serve. As see Pete's bringing his first serve percentage up, surprisingly low on first serve points when he gets a serve in. But look at that, 90% on the second serve. That is some statistic. Wonder if you could get those stats down to Sampras on the court if he would start throwing in more seconds as a first serve. 30, 40. Well. It's a double fault for Sampras. Again, goes for a big second serve there. Doesn't pay off. And Kuchera has his first break point of the match. Okay, let's see where Pete goes with this serve. First break point. Let's check this out. Hey, he's going to take him out wide. We'll pay attention to that as the match goes on and see if he continues to go there on the big points. Ooh, you. Kind of a little bit of a mishit volley there, but he manages it to keep it in the court. Let's see if he catches that clean. I that was a little low on his racket. And he knows it. Got away with one there. Right in the corner. Well, I know that one well. I played Sampras in the final here at 93. Second set tiebreaker. I had a set point. He did that very same thing, but the ball landed on the line. 
and I just felt my chances slipping very quickly away. I lost that tiebreaker, went on to lose the match in four sets. Advantage Sampras. Pete Sampras has won his second round match uh, here at Wimbledon in straight sets each of the last seven years. There's a little danger area here with Kachera challenging in this first set. Uh, Kara Kuchera has a tough matchup in the second round. That's not, not the player that Sampras would like to see in his section this early in the tournament, but he's got to face him anyway. Ooh. Game Sampras just wide there. So Sampras able to pull it out, up five games to four. Welcome back to Wimbledon, the oldest and most prestigious tennis tournament in the world. We're live out at center court. Marv Albert with Jim Courier. And we're watching Pete Sampras in his second round match against Karol Kucherin of the Slovak Republic. 15 love. Some quickness. Nice touch by the big man there, too. 30 low. Moves forward, keeps his racket soft in his hand. Just right across the court. No play for Sampras. 40 low. And backs it up with a nice serve out wide. That is his second ace. Just what the little cat would like. An easy game here to get back even at five all. Game Kuchera. And does it with the serve as ace. They are five games all. Five games all. Sampras to serve. Typical grass court stuff here. Could be heading into the breaker. Pete Sampras knows a little bit about tiebreakers. He's played, played a few of them here at Wimbledon. Law 15. He is 11 and 6 in tiebreakers in the year 2000. I often feel like the player with the bigger serve has the advantage, and the tiebreaker gets more free points. Certainly, that would be the case if these guys get into a tiebreaker. Sampras definitely with the bigger serve. And again, Sampras able to deliver on the second serve. 15 all. Fist by Kuchera there. Takes that return early. Very good serve. Kuchera on the 30. full stretch. Gets it by Sampras as quickly as Sampras hit the serve. Pete continues to struggle with that first serve. 30 all. Not much stick on that volley, but it was just deep enough to keep Kuchera from getting it back. Sampras will have to step up a notch with his volleys as this tournament goes on if he continues to play here. He's going to have to hit them a little bit more, a little more oomph on them. You can't just float the ball back and expect your opponent to miss every time. But 40 30. Goes right back to the forehand, not afraid of it after Kuchera hit the winner a couple points earlier. 
Sampras has a lot of confidence in his serve. So I, you can beat me one time. I'm going to make you prove it, that you can keep doing it. Much better. Sampras, much better. Beat Sampras up 6-5 in this first set. Welcome back to center court at Wimbledon. They are packed in capacity crowd 13,812. Carol Kuchera serving to beat Sampras. Sampras up 6 5 in this first set. And the rain has stayed away. Thus far, if we keep talking about it, maybe we can keep it away. Overcast throughout the day. There's a Sampras forehand. Yeah, Finally gets the range on it. Pounds it cross court. Kuchera not able to catch up with it. it was, we just noticed that 89 mile an hour second serve from Kuchera. That's a bit of a lollipop for Pete Sampras. I'd like to see Pete Sampras take that and get into net if he sees another one that soft. Pete kind of leans back like, Woo, look what I saw there. Watch Sanford's head well, here after he hits the shot. Just kind of leans back, says, yeah. Okay, second serve, love 30. The end of the set, this is when Pete Sampras tends to try and get in and put pressure on his opponent. But a good play by Kuchera and a good deep second serve. Sampras looking around like he thinks it might have been out. That was a, a close call. <laughs> Rudy Berger explaining 15, to Pete that the machine, Cyclops, did not call that out. Pete disagreeing in only the way that Pete Sampras can, he lets you know with his stare that he is not happy. Saying, Rudy, you're doing a great job up there, very sarcastically. Unusual to see uh, Pete get that much involved. Well, huge difference between 15-30 and love 40, getting three set points there. You know, if that machine miss misses that call, oh, boy. I wouldn't be surprised to see Pete Sampras ask for them to turn that machine off if there's another call that he disagrees with. Boy, game of inches. 40, 30. Gets this possible bad call, misses the passing shot there by a couple of inches. I don't know if people understand how matches can turn on something so small as a call like that. Pete Sampras could already have this first set in hand. Oh! Mm. Pulls the trigger from the cross court forehand. Back to Deuce. Deuce. Sampras up 6-5 in this first set. Gutierrez at 51% on the first serves is going to need to pull that up. Great feel by the big man there. Sampras plays a smart shot Advantage here. Kuchera. This ball gets down below the net. Tough volley. Kuchera digs it out on the full stretch. That's top notch. And once again, we see the, the quickness of the player they refer to as the little cat. 
surprised that Sampras didn't try and get in on that second serve. I would, I'm just baffled, really. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's that's There's Miloslav Machir just splashed on your screen. The big cat. Feeling pretty good about that shot. His pupil running across the court. Six um, games on. Uh, nice, nice flat shot across the court. Sampras, no chance. Carol Kachera extending Pete Sampras, providing problems as we head to the tiebreaker. One zero, Sampras. You know, talking to Pete Sampras before this tournament, we had the chance to ask him what his philosophy and tiebreakers are. And something interesting he said to me, I would have never guessed this. He says that he likes to take care of his serve and then play conservatively against the other guy's serve, which I, I, I thought he was, was playing aggressively in general. 1-0. Oh. I would think that tells us about the great confidence that he has with his surf, particularly on grass, where if you get the break. As we see their records, Kuchera's record not nearly as good as Sampras, possibly a product of the serve. But well, you're right, Marv. He does have great confidence in the serve. That's that's the shot that carries him, basically. And um, he's standing in here. I mean, I think he's coming in, but I just don't know. He's going to stay back. Oh. Two, one. Kuchera looking at the court. Thinks he got a bad bounce there. This is grass court tennis. You get bad bounces. You have to be ready for them. That ball looked like it was Pretty much in the strike zone. As we discussed the other day, it's, it seems to be more of a skid that you have to play for rather than the bounce. Absolutely. Sampras up two to one and the tiebreaker. Pete Sampras played that point on his own serve. Goes for the huge second serve down the middle, taking a little risk, and then just steams this forehand, Sampras. just pounds that just inside the line, and there's the skid you're talking about, Marv. A lot of power in that coil from Pete Sampras. 3-1 advantage for Sampras, first to seven in the tiebreaker, but you must win by two. We'll take the set. Again, Sampras. goes to the Kuchera forehand on the second serve. Kuchera looked like he was ready for that one, but that was a big second serve. Over 100 miles an hour. 4-1 Sampras. It's not as big of a lead as it would look. It's only one service break. If Kuchera can win two points here, back 3-4. Kind of shanks that serve in there. Sampras. Saw the little chalk fly up on it, but that was not a clean hit. Pete looking at it. Takes a quick glance at Rudy Berger as if to say in his own subtle way, what are you doing up there, Rudy? <laughs> well, they, they change ends. That was ace number four served up by Kuchera. Pete Sampras so often says nothing on the court that what he says or what he, when he looks at you, if you're the umpire, you feel his weight. He's not a complainer. Four, three, two Sampras. aces. And we're back at four, three. One mini break for Sampras. Consecutive aces by Carol Kuchera. We are live on center court here at Wimbledon. Just past the seven o'clock hour here in London, England. 
and much more to come. 12 hours of sports coverage today here on TNT, which will be concluded by the coverage of the Four. NBA draft from Minneapolis. Pete Bernie Sampras Johnson will be hosting. Sorry, Marv. Pete Sampras picks an inopportune time for a second double fault there. Getting back on serve in this tiebreaker at four all. Mm. Sampras didn't do enough of that first volley, and he knows it. Kind of shakes his head at himself. Knows he's going to have to bear down Kuchera. now. Kuchera has come back from a 4-1 deficit. And the tiebreaker, as you see, has a 5-4 lead. He's got two serves here coming. Can serve out this first set. Oh, that's a wonderful passing shot at a high pressure moment by Sampras. Ice water in his veins. Five Just four. reacts to this shot. Kuchera doesn't do enough with the approach, but Sampras takes the tough route, goes down the line. Much easier to go cross court there. More margin for error cross court. But Sampras is confident, takes it right down the line. Tied at five. Six, five, Kuchera. Now Kuchera on fire with the serve. The previous two were aces, mm. and he just stifled Sampras. Crossed him up there, went to the backhand. The three prior serves were all to Sampras's forehand. Perhaps he was leaning there. Now it's set point for Kuchera. And Sampras goes with the body. Interesting to note there, Sampras Six rarely old. goes to the body. So there, the second really big point we've seen him serve the first time. Down break point, he went out wide to the backhand. The second time, changes it up. Goes right at the body as the players will change sides now. At six all. Sampras mixing it up early. Must win by two. See night falling, although it does stay light here for uh, quite some time, but it, it has been a dark day, overcast throughout. Ooh, here Sampras seven, six, there, kind of blow Sampras. that. Kind of gave it a whoosh, trying to blow it wide. Sampras up 7-6. little extra exhale yeah. from Sampras to just help that ball scoot into the alley. Seven oh. Once again, Kuchera with the ace. That is his sixth. Three of the six here in the tiebreaker. That's some clutch serving. Yep. First serve. Amazingly, Kuchera six aces. Sampras just one. Kind of crossed Pete up there. Pete was expecting him to go to his Eight, backhand. Seven, kind of a little wrong foot, a little late to that forehand. Flew it long. Another set point for Kuchera. So Kuchera, who was down 4-1, and as you mentioned, that uh, was not a commanding situation because Kuchera had, had serve. And here he is, set point. And he gets a look at a Sampras second serve here. Let's see if Sampras goes big again. And he does, handcuffs him right Eight in the body. Tied at eight in this tiebreaker. Very important to get a first set under your belt for either of these players. Difference between being down seven, six. Nine, eight. As Sampras hits Sampras. his second ace at the right moment. There's a big difference sitting there on the changeover, being down a set or being up a set. Feel so much more relaxed if you're up a set. 
And this has evolved into a duel of serves between Sampras and Kuchera. Oh. Once again, set point for Pete Sampras. Oh. 9 -0. You can't do that when you get a second serve. You've got to get the ball back in play. That was not a big second serve. Pete knows that. He'll be disappointed with that. They'll change sides again. Kuchera knows he got away with one there. They are tied at nine in this first set tiebreaker. There you see Miloslav Machir in the forecourt there. Breathing into his hands. Maybe a little prayer for the little cat. Nine all. Couldn't be more even. 46 points for Sampras this set. 46 points for Kuchera. Ten, nine, Kuchera, Sampras. Kuchera plays a little bit out of character, serving and volleying there, and pays the price. Sampras now to serve for the set. Once again, a set point chance for Sampras. Again, goes right at the body. The game in first and he set gets it. A seven games to six. You see Paul Anacone got the hat right back on in front, and he's happy his man's in front. Welcome back to the championships, Wimbledon. Pete Sampras winning that first set in a tie break. You'll see him on the left there. We'll get back to that match. I'm long. Barry McKay along with Mary Carilla, but right now our colleague. Martina Navratilova. This is Marianne DeSchwart, Martina's partner. We are on court 18, watching DeSchwart and Navratilova take on Bacheva and Hopmans. And so far, Martina's been all right out here, Mary. You're up. <laughs> She's pretty good. Yeah. She's pretty good on this stuff. Martina on the right. This is Marianne DeSchwart, her partner. This is their opponents, Bacheva, the dark haired lady on the left from Bulgaria, and this is Amanda Hopmans out of the Netherlands. Three games to one. Three games to one. Martina and Marianne leading a packed house out here on 18. I'll tell you, everybody trying to get a look at that great champion, Martina Navratilova. Marianne de Schwartz serving now. Bottom of your picture, Martina Navratilova at net. Nicely done, Marianne de Schwartz, a very a good player, a very talented player with a big serve and a big return game. Her return game has been spotty in the last couple of tournaments they played, so they know they've got to pick that up. But Martina Navratilova is is playing good ball. Given Marianne, now we're going to have a little huddle. That's good. This is one of the things they feel they've been un inconsistent with is their communication, not only between points, but going into matches and on changeovers as well. I think Mariana is just a little intimidated, even though they're good friends and have played world team tennis, winning four different times in the Billie Jean King World Team Tennis League. Mariana moving a little bit to her left. Martina on the poach. There yes. Well, we kind of kidded Martina as she left the booth, Mary, and we said, uh, do a little poaching up there, and she sure did. Well, that's obviously what they were discussing, that, that was that Martina Navratilova was looking to cross. This is a pretty much a gimme first round. Things will get tougher for these two. Martina Navratilova going for her 20th title, and now you see a little different formation as Martina's straddling that center service line. Go wide. I asked Martina oh, yeah. this morning, you know, what are you, how are you playing, you know, compared to before? And she said, well, compared to what, 72, 73? <laughs> I'm playing better. 74, I played better then. She said, I'm playing better than in 95 and 96. She said she's pretty close to 94. I love it. Which is her last official year on yeah, tour. And there she goes again. And so Navratilova and Schwartz. We'll be going back to Pete Sampras on center court when we return on TNT. 
Welcome back to Wimbledon. We're at center court. Marv Albert with Jim Courier, a man who won 23 titles over his standout 12-year career, including the French Open, a couple of Australians. Jim, a finalist here in 93, oh. facing 15. Pete Sampras. I just got him on his way. That was his first Wimbledon title. Can I take credit for the for the next? Providing <laughs> encouragement. However, however many he's going to have. <laughs> if that makes you feel good. You have to get your happiness somewhere. So, questioning that call on Kuchera's serve. Find they are themselves at love 15. And yeah, they're 1 1 in the second set. Sampras taking the first set in a tiebreaker. Tiebreaker that went to 11 9. Carol Kuchera providing some, some problems for Pete Sampras in that opening set. Chair taking the backhand down the line, continuing to test Sampras on the running forehand. Sampras a little late getting there. Just kind of hooked that one into the net, and the bottom of the net. We've seen better from Pete on those. Coming out of that tiebreaker, Sampras would be trying to get an early break, try and keep that momentum on his side. Thirteen, fifteen. Chera wants no part of it. Crossing Sampras up, going to the body here on the serve. And Pete, good technique on the slice, but still in the net. Carol Kuchera coming off a first round victory over Wayne Black. Going up against 14, 15. the top seed, Pete Sampras, the seeds in the men's division falling by the wayside this afternoon. A lot of surprises here today. There's a nice return. 14, 13. Blocks that back with a firm slice backhand. Stays just inside the line. Sampras, he's got a strong right arm. He uses a very heavy racket. Takes a strong arm to carry that thing. But when you put your racket out there, the weight of the racket helps Pete Sampras. The game Kuchera. Kuchera holds serve and has a 2 1 lead. Pete Sampras took the first set of the tiebreaker. Carol Kuchera up 2 Time. 1 in the second set. And as we mentioned just a moment ago, it's been a very tough day for seated players. Look you, at this. You see Richard Krychek losing to the veteran Wayne Ferreira, 7 6 in the fourth set. Uh, Krychek definitely a favorite in my mind here. The only guy to beat Pete Sampras in the last seven years here. And we see uh, another big surprise here. Magnus Norman, finalist of the French Open, going down to Olivier Rokas of Belgium, relatively unknown player, 6-1 in the fifth. And then we have Cedric Pialin losing oh. to a qualifier, Vochkov from Russia, 6-4 in the fifth. Lots of upsets today. Pialin at 31 years of age, the oldest seated player at oh. Wimbledon. Oh. Law 15. And tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern time, you can see the entire match between Magnus Norman and Olivier Rokas of, of Belgium, who incidentally goes five foot four and had the crowd in thrall. They, they were chanting Ali, Ali, as uh, he was able to knock off Magnus Norman. Apparently a very engaging young player. Might be seeing a new crowd favorite here in England. So you can tune in and watch Ali tonight on CNN SI. Kuchera there making sure that he doesn't touch the net. He would forfeit the point if he touched the net before Not that ball 30. bounced for the second time. Sampras in a bit of trouble here. Love 30. 
but five foot four. Jeez, Marv. I mean, that's we got Muggsy Bogues out there on court one. So many guys these days are now coming in at 6'3", 6'4". Haven't seen a player that small come onto the tour in a long, long time. That's refreshing. Olivier's big brother, Christophe, also on the tour, goes 5'7". 15, 13. 5'4", so unusual for tennis. So difficult. You're such a disadvantage. 15, 30. Got to be very quick to overcome that. Sampras once again serving himself out of trouble. Oh. A little 15, careless with that 14. volley. A nice serve, nice first volley. He had the volley he wanted. Just a little bit on the sloppy side there. Kuchera knows this is a big opportunity. You don't get a lot of break points against Pete Sampras. Now he has two. Double break point for Sampras. Kuchera leading the second set, two games oh. to one. Ah. Sampras continuing 14. to have so much confidence in his serve. And go out to the Kuchera forehand, a tougher serve over the higher part of the net, and he goes big out there. He's not going to give Kuchera a chance to take a slap at it. He wants him on defense right away. Gets away with it again. And again, the handcuff serve going to the body. In the ad court. Oh, Kuchera breaks Kuchera. He sure did. Good return to serve and a great passing shot. Sampras guessing that he's going down the line. Kuchera goes right back cross court Kuchera with it. Another handcuff one. serve to the body. Sampras, good stretching volley, stays low, but Kuchera is right there. Excellent tennis. Carol Kuchera taking a three games to one lead. Best thing to do when you get broken, come right back with the Lock break. 15. See if Sampras can get the first break of serve against Kuchera. He hasn't gotten him yet. Pete Sampras being tested here today on center court, coming off first round victory. Lock 30. Sampras 0 for 3 so far in break points. He's at love 30 here. Probably still stewing about that missed call on that second serve when he had Love 30 before. He was upset about several calls in that first set. Sampras continues to play conservatively on the second serve in the deuce court. At love 30. That's when he would like to get into the net. That's where he's at his best. But respecting Kuchera, not coming in there. That's surprising, Marv. Pete Sampras seems content to stay at the baseline there. Kuchera is the one who is looking to attack. I'm baffled by that. And it's 30 all. Carol Kuchera, 26 years of age, out of Bratislava, Slovak Republic. Plays Davis Cup for Slovakia. 
ranked as high as number six in the world back in September of 1998. That was after making it to the quarterfinals of the U.S. Open. There's a sloppy error there. It takes Pete Sampras to break point once again. See if he can convert one. 0 for 3 so far. Down 3-2. Welcome back to the championships. Court 18 just moments ago. Set point is Marion DeSchwart here ready to serve her partner Martina Navratilova at net. Set point for Navratilova and DeSchwart. Martina over. Knocks it yeah, off. First set is and so it's Martina Navratilova and Marion DeSchwart. The first set on court 18. Back to you, Marv. All right, thank you, Barry. And it is back to center court. Pete Sampras to serve to Caro Kuchera. A moment ago, Sampras able to break serve. Down 3-2 in the second set. After winning the first low. on a tiebreaker. Comes right back and answers Kuchera's break with one of his own. It's the best time to get him. It's not really a break until you, until you actually hold serve and, and convert it. Kuchera breaks Sampras, but not able to really solidify that. So we're back on serve now. This match has just cracked by the uh, one hour mark. This is unusual, Marv, to see Sampras serving this much to the body. He really doesn't like to do it. As a matter of fact, he never did it until Tony Trabert at the U.S. Open doing the commentary kept pointing it out. And Pete heard about it and said in the locker room to me, he said, yeah, I'm going to throw in a a serve at the body here just for Tony when I, when I play today. And you just don't see him do it that often. So Tony Trabert gets a little credit for expanding Pete's horizons on his service style. It's a lot of respect for the uh, for the color commentating aspect. Too much. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can change people's lives here, Jim. Do you realize that? 13-15. I, I mean that any, in a positive sense. <laughs> any suggestions for Pete that you might have no. right now? Keep doing what you're doing. Pretty good, isn't he? Sampras, 29 years old, he'll be 30 next month at the uh, press conference following the victory over Yuri Vonick in that uh, opening round. A lot of questions to uh, Pete Sampras. 14-15. Regarding the possibility of retirement. Uh, correction, he's 28, will be 29. I've just added a year uh, to Pete's life. And uh, many of these questions prompted by your retirement at the age of 29. Yeah, unfortunately for these guys, they're going to be hearing it now for the rest of their careers. In game Sampras. Good game by Sampras there. Ties it back at three off. These guys are going to hear it for a long time as long as they play, but Pete's been talking about trying to play for four or five more years. He feels like he can win a Grand Slam in the next four or five years. And if his body holds up, I don't see any reason why he can't. It's not, I don't see any people on the horizon playing a game that Pete Sampras can't compete with. Uh, it's going to be up to him to see if his body holds up and see if his desire stays there. She wanted to call that out, but right on the line, the lines person's hands kind of twitching there as that ball lands right in the court. Sometimes it makes me a little nervous if I'm playing and I see the I see the girl at the back of the court or the guy calling the lines and their hands start twitching. Don't want to see that hand go out extended for out. And you've seen that when play hadn't even begun, which well, is from time to time. Very nerve wracking. Yes. Fifteen old. Pete Sampras did make it uh, clear that 
he does not see retirement for several years. He doesn't. He still has some things that, that he would like to achieve in his career. Paramount getting number 13, breaking Roy Emerson's record, which I expect him to do here at Wimbledon. And with shots like that, he'll be on his way. Of course, the 15, French Open 13. so far, the only major to elude him. He's won a couple Davis Cup titles. He's won all the slams except for the French Open. That's really the, the one one trophy that's, that's uh, he wants to complete that set. He's got them all laid out of his house, but that's missing right now. There's a nice volley by Kuchera. And Marv, I'm not so sure that Pete Sampras' best chance at the French Open hasn't already passed him by. I'm not saying that he can't win there. Clearly he can, but on clay in particular right now, there are a lot more fellas out there that can compete with him on that surface. Grass courts, he's clearly the man. On clay, he's in the pack. Oh, he lays it out there. A la Boris Becker, but he can't get it to go over. 30-40. Nice passing shot here. See this on grass? The guys aren't afraid to lay it out there. They know they're not going to get scraped up like they would on a hard court or a clay court. Just, and Pete knows that, ooh, that was going to be a highlight shot if he made it. Break, Break point. point. In stereo. <laughs> I personally think that Pete Sampras has he's got a lot of great tennis left in him. Well, Justin Gibblestop winning in three sets. And he'll take on the winner between Sampras and Kuchera. Gibblestop will be hoping that Sampras wins this match. He's a young player who very much likes the spotlight, would very much enjoy playing Pete Sampras here at Wimbledon. Kuchera thought that was going to be called out, so he hesitated. Big mistake there. Gave Sampras the chance to get into the net, Sampras. get close to the net. And Sampras doesn't make a mistake here. Just plays it right over the net. Plenty of clearance. But short enough in the court on grass, that's not going to stick up there for Kuchera to run down. As, as quick as he is, even he can't get there. And another break point for Sampras here. Try and put his nose in front in the second set. Hughes. Well, Kuchera with a seventh ace to bring it back to Deuce. And he continues to serve the ace at the big moment. Came up big in the tiebreaker. Kuchera playing with much confidence. Early we talked about the fact that uh, there have been six previous meetings. Sampras has won five of the six, but uh, that one victory, I'm, I'm sure, plays into the fact that he feels he can beat Sampras. Advantage in over five sets. Beat him in Australia, another Grand Slam, so. He knows he's capable of taking this man out, although on this surface, it's less likely than any other. Deuce. Kuchera continuing to try and feast on the Sampras backhand, the weaker side by far. Tough to get the ball up high to Pete's backhand, which is where most guys would try and play him. On the grass court, the ball stays a little low. But it's still the side you want to go to. When I had success against Pete, the way I had it was hitting every ball without exception to his backhand if we got into a baseline rally. I refused to hit a ball to his forehand. If you give him a chance with a forehand, he's going to take control of the point. You've got to keep it on his backhand. Game Kuchera. Number eight. For Kuchera to hold serve and move in front.
Welcome back to Wimbledon. It's day three of Wimbledon 2000. Now look at, as they say here, the gentlemen's seedings. On the men's side, in this half, only Pete Sampras and Thomas Enqvist of Stockholm, Sweden, remaining as we resume here on center court. Carol Kuchera with a 4-3 lead in the second set. 15. Pete Sampras took the first set in a tiebreaker. It is amazing. There are only two seeds left. We're merely getting into the third round today. A lot of great players going out. Ruzedski, Krychek, Pialin. Where are these guys? This is Wimbledon. These guys have done well here in the past. They know how to play well here. Love 30. And we're, we're losing to guys like Volchkov, qualifier from Belarus. Uh, Krychek losing to Ferreira, not that much of an upset, but where are these guys, where have they gone? It's amazing. But Enkvist winning against Francisco Clavet of Madrid. Really? The other half of the seating, uh, we do have Andre Agassi going up against Todd Martin in uh, what should be an excellent match. That'll be center court tomorrow live here 15, on 13. TNT. That should be a good matchup. Last year's U.S. Open final. Both players getting through yesterday, setting it up. Well, the ball boys almost catching the guillotine there. Team 30 here at 3 4. This is a tricky spot. You can see the ball boy and ball girl there trying to keep their heads down. This is big trouble for 15, Pete Sampras here. Sets up two break points for Kachera. You can really almost call these set points because he breaks here, he'll be serving for the set. Sampras only broken him once. Chera, one out of three. A little better than Sampras' one for six, but still not great. Net fist, sir. Sampras has, for years, led the tour or been at the, near the top of the tour of saving break points, which is a huge statistic. And that is exactly why. My goodness. Huge serve. And an even bigger volley. 30, 14. I mean, this, this is not the volley Pete Sampras has been hitting up to this point in this match. That is nothing short of firm. Boy, break out the textbook. 30 40. And break point. Will he go with the body on the second serve here? It's where he's been going on the big points. Kuchera showing his coach Miloslav Machir the fist as he gets the break off the loose volley from Pete Sampras. Kuchera a good second serve. Three, Sampras got a reasonable set. volley. Couldn't do much with it. Kuchera to serve for the second set to level this match. And Pete Ooh. Sampras faced with the prospect for the first time in eight years of being extended past a third 15 set. Turn from Sampras. They'll need a few more of those to stay in this set. 15 0. Like coming up for a change of racket, looks like. Yep. Sampras probably has the tightest strings of anybody on tour. Plays with a, a very thin string, uh, a VS gut string, very thin. Breaks a lot of rackets, but he has probably about 10 rackets in his bag, just in case. Ooh. A nice one-two punch from Kuchera there with up-the-middle serve and the wide volley. 
13-15. See some nice intensity in his eyes right now. And we've seen that right from the start. Very tough first set. Lost it in the tiebreaker. Seventh appearance at Wimbledon for Carol Kuchera. Last year made it to the fourth round. Sampras clearly has a lot of respect for Kuchera's passing shots because he's getting short balls, balls in the middle of the court where against a player who doesn't pass like Carroll, he would definitely come in and put pressure on him. But for some reason, he's happy to stay back and get the ball to the backhand. Oh. 14-13. Good guess by Sampras. Can't control the passing shot. And here we are at set point for Kuchera. As you see Pete Strings there, the fraying gut. And this crowd getting behind the underdog, Carol Kuchera. I just think they want to see some more tennis. I don't think Thank they you. really want Pete Sampras to lose. A lot of these people have waited all year for this their one day on center court, so they want to see as much tennis as they can. Second set. And Sampras will be extended. On to the third set. Long 15. Marv Albert, Jim Carrier, Carol Kuchera taking the second set, defeating uh, Pete Sampras 6 3 after the 7 6 first set tiebreaker win by Sampras. 15 all. And they are 15 all in this opening game of the third set. It's an interesting stat. I mean, who would have thought Kuchera with more than double the aces of Sampras. Oh. That's a that's got to be a broken string or a broken racket. One of the two. There it's a string. Those those strings of Sampras is he. He's one of the only players on tour which uses that thin of a gauge and he strings them so tight up around somewhere close to 80 to 85 pounds which I mean I used to string my rackets tight and they were around 65 pounds. I use the same racket that Pete Sampras uses. Um, it's amazing really that he hasn't had any arm trouble but I think one thing that helps him with his racket he uses the, the very heavy racket as I mentioned earlier so you get a lot of weight on your shot just naturally with the swing. Another change of racket. 13, for Sampras. Isn't it difficult to make a change and go right out and play without warming up with a new racket? Pete Sampras has never had trouble doing that. Uh, he's always broken a lot of strings during matches. He's uh, very comfortable coming out with a new racket. It doesn't bother him in the least. Most players it does, though. 14, 15. I hated changing I hated breaking a string at a big moment out there I would actually go and change the racket if I thought I was going to break it I would change it a couple games before I thought it was going to break when it, we were earlier in the set because I didn't want to switch rackets late in the set when it was really crucial if I was going to change and be unsure for a few points I'd want to see it early in the set As we see Game Sampras go to one zero so Sampras Old sir, but Carol Kuchera game, third set. Once has all. come through with a very strong performance. Earlier this month, it was Kuchera in the second round of the French Open, defeating Andre Agassi. And he finished six love. Steffi Graf looking on as Agassi suffered blisters. And you see the 6 1 6 love to wrap it for Kuchera. Over Agassi, a big victory though for Carol Kuchera and the French. Big victory for Kuchera. Big disappointment for Agassi. Agassi, the defending champion there, 
Low 15. would like to have done better. See Pete Sampras line this up and just crack a backhand down the line winner. Kuchera, no shot at it. But that was a big win for Kuchera. Unfortunately, he couldn't back it up, losing to Franco Squillari. Squillari going on to the semifinals there, having a good tournament. Love 30. Squillari, one of those clay court specialists who will not not be so solid here on the grass courts of Wimbledon. On the other hand, Sampras lost in the first round of the French to Mark Philippoussis in five sets. That closed out Pete's clay season. Obviously a different set of circumstances for Sampras uh, here on the grass. Although he did lose in the Queens Club. 15-30. Losing to the 19-year-old Australian Leighton Hewitt who was knocked out of Wimbledon by Jan Michael Gamble. Sure did. I don't think Pete Sampras worries too much about losing in the finals of Queens. He knows that this is the one that really counts. Wimbledon is where it's at for him. What he's after at the Queens Club tournament a couple of weeks before Wimbledon is match play, and he got it by getting to the finals. Chara ah! sprays 15, that forehand. 15. His forehand can let him down. That's why I'm curious as to why Pete continues to go to his backhand, Kuchera's backhand. Double break point for Sampras. Pete's got to figure out sooner or later that what he's doing is not working. Playing conservatively is not the way to go. One for six. That'll Game do it right there. Nice, firm backhand. Sampras sticks his neck out in front 2-0 here in the third set. Sampras leads by We're getting a little bit late here. Set. We're, we're approaching zero. 8 o'clock in London. There's probably only about an hour and 15 to hour and 20 minutes of playtime left here due to darkness. And uh, Pete's got to be thinking to himself right here, gosh, I, I need to run this set out as quickly as possible. I want to get off the court today. I want to have this victory in hand and be safely into the third round and not have to play three days in a row. That is the disadvantage of being scheduled as the showcase match, the final match at center court. That's right, Marv. Next, center court, court one starting at 2 o'clock. The other courts here on site, the matches start at noon. So if you're scheduled third match on the center court and there are two men's matches, one men's match in front of you and a women's match in front of you, any of those matches go long, you're looking at a possible overnight special. What a serve. Love. It's a thing of beauty. You know, Sampras talks about playing on in his 30s. Jimmy Connors playing successfully into his late 30s without a serve like Pete Sampras's. It's a nice passing shot by Kuchera. Ties it up at 15 all. Connors 15 getting old. through late in his career with his wildliness and his guts and his heart. And Sampras, if he's going to continue on in his late 30s, is going to have to use his serve. 32 winners to 31. This match is very, very tight. Last year here at Wimbledon, Sampras beat his longtime rival Andre Agassi in the final. That was on the 4th of July. Her sixth Wimbledon crowd. 15 13. Double fall. Last year, Sampras lost only two sets, only two sets throughout the tournament. And he dropped the set here today. Well, the way his draw is shaping up, if he can get through this match. It's possible he could he could run the tables in the top half of the draw and, and not drop another set. They're good players up there, don't get me wrong. Oh, just misses that shot. Justin Gimmelstab is a fine grass court player, but at this point in his career, he's not in Pete Sampras' league. And with only Tomas Inquist left in the top part of the draw, that's gotta that's gotta be looking good for Pete Sampras, although he will not know at this point. Pete's playing live here. We're watching him live. He will not know. 
that the other guys have lost because he's been on the court as some of those matches were coming in. He'll only find out afterwards. 14-30. Justin Gimmelstadt, who is waiting in the wings for the winner here, is a 23-year-old out of Livingston, New Jersey, now living in Florida and Los Angeles, out of UCLA. Recruiters made certain to keep Justin away from Bill Walton before the decision was made to attend UCLA. Hughes. And Gibblestop winning today after the uh, first round victory over Barry Cowan of Great Britain. Yeah, Justin coming through. He had a nice draw there, which is good. He hasn't been playing as well as he would like to earlier this year. But this is where it really counts. When you, when you want to turn it on, you want to turn it on at the biggest moment. Wimbledon is the biggest moment. He's out into the third round waiting for the winner of this match. Nice backhand volley by Sampras there. Kimmelstab has played Davis Cup for the United States, has played doubles on the United States Davis Cup team, has some match experience. Probably best known for being the mixed doubles partner of Venus Williams. They won titles at the Australian and the French a couple of years ago. Definitely knows how to play in the big moments if he's winning Grand Slam titles, even if it's mixed doubles. No. And he's a really personable kid. Well liked on the tour. A lot of personality there. And if, if he's on the center court, you'll see a lot of personality from him. Game Sampras. Pete Sampras. 3-0 in this set. Welcome back to Wimbledon as you see we're just past the 8 o'clock hour. In London, Pete Sampras up three love, third set. Look at some of the other Americans. Vince Spadia, who stopped the 21 match losing streak on Monday with the dramatic victory over Greg Rosetsky of Great Britain, losing today in straight sets. And Alex O'Brien coming through qualifying. Love 15. Disappointing loss to Gianluca Pazzi, the oldest gentleman in the draw at 35 years old. That draw was a, a big opportunity for Alex O'Brien. Would have gone through to play Olivier Rokas, who took out Magnus Norman today. That'll be a disappoint, disappointment for Alex. You mean Ali Rokas. They were chatting Ali. for the five foot Ali. four inch Ali, <laughs> who will be a popular figure here at Wimbledon. Oh. And Love 13. that's just the the start of things for sports coverage on TNT starting at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. We will bring you the NBA draft from Minneapolis following our Wimbledon coverage. And we'll notice here, Marv, that Sampras is trying to run the tables in the fourth set, uh, third set here on Kuchera. He's got 30 love. He's already up three love. Two breaks would pretty much put this set out of reach for Kuchera. And there he goes with that emphatic backhand down the line. Stepped in and ripped at Kuchera, serving a volley on the second serve to try and surprise Sampras. He's not buying it. We're looking at triple break Thank point. You. Sampras gets one of these next three. Kuchera will start thinking about set number four. Tries it again, serves and volleys again on the second serve. Guess is right, covers the line. 15, 14. Quick move here down the line and sticks the volley cross court. No problem. <laughs> that, that will go Game wide. Sampras. And that's four love for Sampras. I think we can go ahead and write that set off for Carol Kuchera. He'll start preparing himself. Love, He'll start preparing for the old uh, fourth set here. When I would get in this situation down for love, if I felt like playing against Sampras, probably not going to break him twice here, but I want to make sure that I hold my serve the next time. So when we go to the fourth set, I'm serving first in that set. I always like to get my neck in front if I could by, by serving first. And that is a bomb serve from Sampras. You can just hear the power of that serve. Now 
how things have turned for Carol Kachera in this third set. Sign of a champion from Sampras. Drops the second set immediately, buckles down. It's right back to business. Kuchera feeling good there, maybe relaxes a little bit of the early part of the third set, and all of a sudden it's over before he knows what hit him. 30 long. Slight discrepancy there between total matches played here. Uh, and I'd say that the winning percentages there, there might be a little difference as well. Sampras, the defending champion, trying to make it seven titles the last eight Four years teams. here at Wimbledon. He has lost only six points this entire set. And the only guy who's beaten Sampras here, Krychek, goes out today. That would have had to, had to have been a worry for Sampras to have him in the top half of the draw, he's got to be feeling relieved when he gets to the locker room and finds out that he went out today. The game, Sampras. Sampras getting stronger and stronger as the match progresses. Pete Sampras pouring it on in the third set. Up five, love. Sampras won the first in a tiebreaker. An impressive second set for Carol Kuchera. And this match has now gone two hours and and four minutes and perhaps with the uh, darkness coming on there is a sense of urgency on the part of Pete Sampras who would would prefer to wrap things up today not come back tomorrow for a completion if things continue to go the way they have been going. He'd like to win it today. He'll take a win any way he can get it. If he has to come back tomorrow, Pete's a total professional. He will do that, but he would much prefer to have the day off tomorrow, have a nice casual hit with his coach, Paul Anacone, perhaps. 15 all. Get as much time on hanging out with the television in his house. You can see uh, outside the center court complex, you can see darkness is approaching. There's a lot of cloud cover here. This is London, after all. Well. We're not in Los Angeles. You know, it it's is a not bad, smog, Marv. It's a bad sign. There are no lights here, and you can see in the office area of the Wimbledon complex, there are lights on everywhere mm. indoors. Mm -hmm. 15, 30. 15 30. Pete is definitely pouring it on, Marv. He, he knows. He knows the situation. He knows how much time he has to close this match out, and he's doing it well. He's definitely closing this match out right now. Chair is going to have to try and figure it out here, see if he can get back into it in the fourth set because Sampras is just abusing him on the serve right now. That might be a way that he can stop the bleeding, come up with shots like that. 30 old. Now, if Carrico Chero is thinking about it, he might try and start slowing play down, take a little extra time between points if he wants to prolong this match. He might not be able to do it with staying in the match with sets, but he could possibly do it by staying overnight. Fourteen thirty. Sounds like a fire alarm going off here in the center court complex. That's uh, a little worrisome bothersome to the players but more so than that oftentimes here in London you get a lot of bomb threats I, I've been a part of many times here where you'll hear hear them say uh, with a club secretary please report to gate 13 which is their code for there's a bomb threat been called in we've had to evacuate a few times Jim, I don't think this is anything like that but Jim cracking the code of security here <laughs> yes at Wimbledon as he's playing on center court they're going to play on. For a moment, I, I just thought it was normal sounds from our TNT control room. Could have been. That's one lengthy cell phone ring is what I'm thinking. Game Kuchera. Well, Carol Kuchera breaks through with his 
first game. Sampras leads by Able five games to one. Hang on to this third set. And Sampras will serve for the set. Sampras asking Rudy Berger to check and see what's going on. Rudy picks up the phone, direct line to the referee's office is what is going on. The play will go on. I wonder if they've changed the code. Oh, look at that. The little cat running it down and just hooking it enough. This is good tennis, ladies and gentlemen. 15. A nice half volley by Sampras. And look at this ball just hooking. A little side spin on it. Covers it right in the corner. Untouchable. Fifteen old. Well, Sampras able to fire home his sixth ace of the match. The control room not taking kindly to your crack at him there, Marv. Crossing you up. We're told it, it is that was officially the six, 15, six ace. Ace. I got your back here. Don't worry. Thank you. So you think that was a vicious answer, striking back with a graphic <laughs> in any way possible. It, it appears only uh, Pete Sampras, if you will, is alarmed about the continuation at 15, of the alarm. He's at 1530 here. He's been so dominant so far this set and then all of a sudden he gets a distraction like this. It's not what he wants. He wants to be able to clearly focus on his task at hand. So not have to think about a bell ringing in the back of his head annoying him. Oh, beautiful point by Sampras. He is such a great athlete. 30 old. He is an athlete playing tennis out there. He is not a tennis player first. Just the lunging, what control, not even looking as he hits the shot. Just watch his head, just he doesn't even see where the ball is going, but he knows it's going in there. Great control of the body. Oh, he was looking to do 14, a jump. 13. His slam dunk overhead, which he likes to do, but that ball well outside the lines. Takes us to set point for Pete Sampras to go ahead and lock up a two sets to one lead. He's still annoyed about that bell, though. It's kind of a, a bizarre atmosphere. The bell <laughs> continues. Crowd getting a, uh, a rise out of it. Oh, big return. Kuchera answers the call. Takes it to Deuce. Seems like, seems like the bell Deuce. here has actually awoken Carol Kuchera. Oh, and there it is. <laughs> Crowd responds to the bell finally coming to an end. So the chair umpire should have said to Sampras, what bell? <laughs> Great returns in a row by Kuchera. Definitely starting, definitely starting to ramp himself up for the fourth set. Advantage He's got to know that, that Pete Sampras is not going to be broken twice in a row in one set. I, I would, you. wouldn't see that happening, but he is trying to get his game going for the fourth set, get some momentum going here. Break point for Kuchera. Sampras with the second serve. Likes to go to the body here. Game Kuchera. And Kuchera breaks serve. Sampras with a 5 2 lead in the third. Sampras leads. Sampras. Back at center court on Wimbledon. The bell apparently has stopped ringing. 
Sampras up 5 2 in the third set, but has had some difficulties with Carol Kuchera after taking a 5 love lead. And apparently, Pete Sampras asking for the uh, trainer. We'll see Doug Spreen in just a moment. You recall on that opening round match against uh, Yuri Vonick of the Czech Republic, it appeared that Pete had pulled a hamstring. Right. See, uh, see Doug Spreen working on Pete's foot here. Exactly sure what's going on. Nothing noticeable in his movement or play so far. Uh, possibly Pete and has a history of having three some minutes time out for Mr. As we hear, as we hear uh, the three-minute announcement from Rudy Berger, Pete Pete has a history of, of having feet problems. Actually, this looks like an ankle thing, though. Rubbing some cream on his ankle. So Sampras getting the three-minute medical break. So we will take a commercial timeout. Back with more Wimbledon on TNT in a moment. The 2000 Championships Wimbledon on TNT are brought to you by IBM. www.wimbledon.org, the official website of the Millennium Championships, is an IBM e-business. By Universal Pictures, the adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle, only in theaters June 30th. This summer, it's not the same old bull. By Cadillac, the power of and, the fusion of design and technology. And by Enron, ask why. Well, back at Wimbledon, Pete Sampras using the three-minute medical break this moments ago as the trainer, Doug Spreen, is out attending uh, to Pete Sampras. Uh, trainers in tennis not only have to be efficient, but quick with that uh, three-minute clock working. Three minutes, if he doesn't get it done, there's there are no second chances for the trainers. A lot of pressure for Doug Spreen, but he's holding up well. Is there any history of ankle trouble with uh, Sampras? No. Pete Sampras's ankles have generally been pretty strong. Uh, he's had some uh, problems with his feet on the bottom of his feet with blistering, but his ankle, as we noticed, Doug putting the pad on the front here where Doug was rubbing earlier, right before we went to commercial break, we saw that he was rubbing the front part of the ankle, not the side, which would indicate that Pete had twisted his ankle. That is a... Uh, it's a very strange place for him to be getting rubbed as, as we rejoin the action live here. He trying to get his shoe on. Rudy Berger giving him a little leeway. He knows Pete's not doing anything funny here. Pete's just trying to get, take care of his body and get back out to play. Mr. McEnroe anxiously looking on. Pete's Davis Cup captain throwing his arms around as we see Pat Cash, another former Wimbledon champion on the right there. He's, look at those eyes. Pat's pretty excited about the action. Waving the peace sign. I think those guys are having almost as much fun as we are. See Pete probably put on some new dry socks and get back out to action here shortly. And uh, he has no question receiving the benefit of the doubt. They do not adhere to the, the three minute medical time. And he can understand it. As you say, there's nothing uh, tricky no. going on. He's not stalling. Time. Well, no, he's just doing his business. And you'll see he's not walking comfortably right here. Generally, it will take him a few games to get warm with that ankle because the tape is tight. It takes a couple games for the tape to kind of stretch out, mold with, with the shape of your foot, with your ankle. Um, I never liked playing with tape on my feet. I, I hated it. I, I would wear a, a brace rather than get my ankle taped. Um, felt too constricted with it. And Pete clearly not running the way he would like to. This changes things dramatically. Pete Sampras is no longer thinking about running this match out today. Low. Pete Sampras has an injury. He's thinking about closing this set out on his serve, trying to get through it and try and get out of here today and see if he can get some treatment tonight and be back to 100% tomorrow. And you can see low. he's testing it, walking gingerly. Bizarre. We didn't see any twinges of pain or anything on his face. Certainly see it now. 30 love, 5 2 Sampras. 40 love, oh, was good. In the third. That was inside the line. Sampras is just throwing this game away. He's not interested. All he's, all he's worried about is how his ankle is feeling right now. But he'll get interested very quickly when he goes to serve for the set for the second time.
Is there a statute of limitations on me taking back that that statement about Sampras getting broken two times in a row? Do I get a caveat for him being injured there? No. 14-15? No. No, well, I'll, I I'll still stick with it then. Our producer, uh, Howard Zalkowitz in the truck, says, well, he's a rookie, but uh, here in the booth, <laughs> you were voted down, Jim. Thanks a lot, Howard. The game, Kuchera. Two serves in the same spot in the deuce court by Kuchera. And he's getting pumped up now. He knows he has a real opportunity to get back in this fourth set. Just Ace. a few moments ago, leads he was feeling like the set three. was over, Third but now set. he's back in it. Ace number 10. And Sampras desperately seeking to close it out. But how things have changed. And here's Kara Kuchera, who was able to take advantage of an Andre Agassi injury. And the French Open with a similar opportunity here. This guy's an albatross for the American players. Oh, uh, you hear Sampras' oh, grunt right there. He put extra oomph in that second serve. He doesn't want to have to hit a volley there. He doesn't watch him blow here. He's gonna, he's gonna blow that ball out. I think it was going to go out anyway, but he's just giving it a little extra help. He does not want to play long points in this game. You can hear his grunt. It's increasing. There's urgency there. Desperately wants to get this set in his hand. Has Pete changed his mind about darkness setting in? I think so. I think, uh, I think he'd like to, to get off of this court. That's two really good points by Pete Sampras. It's not easy when you get your foot taped up to serve so on. He's clearly in pain. You see it in his face. The left foot there, when you spring up for the serve, and it's tight there. You don't have a lot of room to move in your ankle. He's not getting the same knee bend he would normally get. I think he'll get it if he stays out there long enough. He'll warm up into it. But this is, uh, this is not a good sign for Pete Sampras. And Jim, the ankle injury on top of the, the back problem, Fortino. the back stiffening up this past Friday, although it was downplayed by, by Sampras. That uh, took course in the midst of a practice session with Tim Hedman, triple set point. Sampras. A uh, very, very good point by Sampras. Lays it out there, the six games to gets the set in hand. He goes, he goes, gets excited in that game with his grunt. It's the big serves, lays it out there, plays aggressively. That's a good game by Pete Sampras. Sampras up two games to one as we head to the fourth. As we start the fourth set, we've got two hours, 13 hours. 26 minutes. Carol Kuchera up 30 love. Pete Sampras. Try to fight his way back in terms of the injured ankle. A moment ago, closed out the third set. Full T love. Kuchera, you can just see he's got a spring in his step now. He was getting steamrolled there in the third set, and all of a sudden he sees a glimmer of hope. Sampras calls the trainer, and all of a sudden we have a new Carol Kuchera on the court. Carol Kuchera, 26 years old, from Bratislava in the Slovak Republic. Unseated. In game Kuchera. And hold serve. First game, fourth set. Sampras leads by two sets to one. change sides now the new rules this year no long over changeover at 1-0 they play on for three games it's good for the television viewer not so good for the viewers here in the stands if they get up to go get a drink and miss the first three games of the set so we see Martina out there with Marianne de Schwartz. she is going into a third set as darkness approaches 19 time Wimbledon champion our colleague Martina Navratilova getting a day off today from commentating duties. 
to hit the uh, the grass at Wimbledon. Must be nice. Well, Kuchera. He's ready to start stepping up here. Law 15. Steps in early inside the baseline. Not much of a backswing, which is what she want on grass. Blocks that. Just comes inside the line at the last moment. That's a pretty shot. Stamper still walking very gingerly. 15-0. He's not happy with the situation right now. About the only thing I think that can really stop Pete Sampras from at least getting through to the final is his body. If his body stays with him, if it holds up, he's by far the best grass court player in the top half. The winner here today will go up against Justin Gimmelstab, who advanced earlier. 15, 30. In the back of Pete's mind right now, he knows. He knows he's not feeling well, but he also knows that he's, there's only about 30 minutes of play left here today. He can lose this set, still be tied up two sets apiece, be coming back tomorrow, hopefully feeling a little bit better. 30 old. Of course, is the question, you never know how the anchor will feel after an overnight rest and then he would have a situation where although it could be a, a short period of time we'd have to complete the match but he'd be playing three straight days mm -hmm. and try to get off uh, the ankle injury no it could be very problematic for him oh. best case scenario for pete is to just serve his way through this set somehow maybe get an opportunity to sneak a break in and get this match under his belt. 30, 40. But that's not going to do it there. Down break point now, early. You can see the discomfort in his eyes. Pete normally hides his, his emotions. He's not hiding them here. Everyone can see he's not where he wants to be physically. Goes back to the jam Huge. serve. That is the one that he is relying on. First serve and second serve in the ad court on the break points. You'd think Kuchera would have figured that out by now. But at 110 miles an hour, coming right at you, even if you know it's coming, it's not going to be the easiest thing to do. Badly that for him. Chair sure able to dig out the serve and now break point. Second one this game. My bet is Pete's not going to go back to the body here. He'll change it up. But I would be wrong. <laughs> That's why I'm not a betting man. Kuchera looking backhand, looking forehand. He doesn't actually really know which way he wants to go with that one. He went to the backhand first and had to flick Hughes. it back over to the forehand, just chip that return back. Easy put away for Sampras. It is back to Deuce. Right about now, if that ankle is going to start getting better, it's going to start getting better now. Oh, that's a big second serve and a solid volley from Sampras. Kuchera almost tracks it down, gets it, just misses it down the line. Sampras now with add in. And he is hobbling as he collects the balls for the serve. How's the grass play into an ankle injury? Well, I think it could be more so of a problem than, than a hard court surface. Game centers. It's a good comeback from Pete there. The reason being, when you, when you push off for your serve at the back of the court, on a harder surface, you kind of spring up. On. You have Four to seven. use more of your own energy on grass to get up. The, the surface is 
although it's not as spongy as it used to be, it's still not a hardcore surface. So a little extra pressure on the ankle. Um, Pete's, Pete's definitely in pain out there. One apiece in the fourth set. Sampras up two sets to one. Love Double fault by Kuchera for the fourth time. Oh. It's a bad move by Kuchera to be giving Pete free points right now with Pete not as mobile as he would like to be. Kuchera needs to make him move. 15 old. Or just go ahead and hit an ace if he can, <laughs> if he can do it. It's number 12 for Kuchera. If he gets into a rally with Sampras, it'd be wise for him to make Sampras move as much as possible. Just test out. How much can Pete Sampras move out there? So T15. It's a shot where Sampras, a little uncertain with his feet, just doesn't set up with the same firmness that he normally would, same aggression. Just, Just pressing a little bit there. 40 15. Looking for a 2 1 advantage in this set. Kuchera. Kuchera in front of Sampras. Two games to one of the fourth. Kuchera leads. Live at Wimbledon. Marv Albert with Jim Courier. Darkness continues to set in, although it's not, uh, not a dramatic change from 20 minutes ago. No, those clouds are hovering. The cloud cover's not there. Normally we can play Pretty much up to about 930 actually if it's a nice clear evening but tonight is not one of those evenings but the rain has stayed away mm. it's been overcast throughout the day and beat Sampras to serve 15 love well, Pete's gonna have to rely on his serve right now if he remains as immobile as he looks just try and get as many cheap points as he can out of it See Paul Anacone in the top of the screen has moved that hat back from backwards to forwards now. That, that is his rally cap. 30 low. I'm sure he's very concerned about his man out there on the court. Ideally, uh, Anacone would love to see Sampras wrap it up, get the day of rest, be able to uh, prepare for the third round match on Friday. For Tila. We know Justin Gimmelstab is at his apartment here at Wimbledon watching this match, probably on the BBC, listening to John McEnroe and Pat Cash, and uh, thinking, wow, wouldn't it be great if it was Carol Kuchera, not Pete Sampras? I mean, I'm sure he would love to play Sampras, but oh. realistically, his chances go up dramatically if he plays Kuchera. And how that uh, draw has Shake it out. All kinds of uh, upsets. Only Enkvist of Sweden able to advance. 14-15. There we see Sampras go for too much on his second serve. He was wide left there by quite a bit, his left. But at 40 love, why not? No, that's a smart play, I think. There's Doug Spreen, a trainer. Looks like he needs some rest. Put a lot of effort into that three minute medical timeout to tape the ankle of Sampras. Game Sampras. So Sampras able to 
tie it up at two. We're in the fourth set. Sampras in two front. Games two sets to one. Took the first on a tiebreaker. Kuchera very strong on the second set. 6-3 and then Sampras who was up five love. Then came up hobbling and uh, concluded matters at 6-3. Oh, lines woman there taking one to the body body blow. We need some padding out there. Showing no quickness. <laughs> Sampras just just saying you know what, I'm just going to cover backhand side I can't cover it all. Not able to push off with my ankle. I'm just going to try and play for one side. Maybe I'll get lucky, but Kuchera doesn't oblige. Ooh. Oof, that was awfully close. She was expecting Pete to put a hit on that ball. Wasn't expecting it to come through the court. So Tilo. Like we saw in the end of the third set, Sampras content to just play Sloppy points on Kuchera's serve. He's not really that interested in getting into any, any extended rallies whatsoever. Come on. Oh, Tila. He thought it was out and uh, saw the, the response. Rudy Berger, the uh, chair umpire, giving his explanation. That looked good from here. Good ball. It's not the best angle, but I thought I saw some chalk there. Pete convinced otherwise. Pete's just aggravated right now. He can get testy with uh, the bad ankle. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Ooh, didn't even catch the center of the strings there. That high toss that Kuchera has might be losing that ball up in the darker clouds right now. What, what are we doing wow. Here? Oh, Sampras again. Kuchera. Sampras Hard can't believe it. Ball. It's about as uh, volatile as we have seen Pete Sampras. Kuchera leads by three games to two. Sampras so looking around going, leads what by two sets is to one. going on? There's a lady. She might be taking it out on him for letting that ball come by. Yes. We'll be back. <laughs> on the previous disputed call, we'll show you the replay, and it appeared that it was the proper call, but not the case here. Pete Sampras, correct? Clearly out. That was at least two inches wide. The lady behind him calling that line, perhaps still shooken up by the ball that almost clipped her there. Well, that was that's an atrocious call. It's pro tennis. It happens. Sampras serving down three two mm. in this fourth set. Kuchera showing 15. He's ready to keep playing out here. Nice early. We've seen this before right up the line and he pumps a little fist afterwards. He knows this, there's an opportunity here. And Sampras came up hobbling on the follow through of that serve. For those who may have just joined us late in the third set, Pete Sampras injured his ankle. He was well in front, five love on Carol Couture. The trainer had to come out, apply the tape, but he's obviously not the same. He does uh, lead two sets to one. Couture can't run that one down. If I'm Pete Sampras and I'm hobbling like that, I don't 13, know exactly 15. the extent of his injury, but if I were in that situation and it didn't feel right, I would be pulling that tape off of my ankle and just going natural. I, I'm, I'm not so sure that the tape is helping him here. Is Kuchera doing enough, though, and making him run? Well, he's trying to, but, but Sampras, with his serve, can control the points so well. So he just keeps looking at it. He's limping on the ankle. If the thing with... Uh, when Pete Sampras is serving, you're just hoping to get the ball back into the court. So we see Machir 
Kuchera's coach feeling a little stressed out about the whole situation. Miloslav Machir is a hero. Kara Kuchera. 14-13. You know, Pete Sampras, he's such a heads-up player. He gets injured, he realizes, now I'm going to have to rely on my serve. Now is when I need it the most. So what's he doing? He's making lots of first serves as he jokes a little bit with the crowd. He's got his service percentage up to 68%, which is the highest. That's the high watermark for him this match. Showing some expression, feeling a, a bit happier about uh, things. He's been upset with several calls in this fourth set. Well, a couple of them, we don't agree with Pete, but that last one, serve out wide, clearly missed. Double fault for Sampras. That's the sixth double fault of the match, and they're at deuce. Got to be careful here. Service percentage is coming up. He needs to keep bringing it up. He, he doesn't want to, to be faced with second serves here and have to go for more than he would like to. Sarah pumping his fist there. Normally, Pete Sampras, the best overhead in men's tennis, would have no problem knocking that off. But you can see limited mobility. Can't really get back to really put the normal Advantage pop Kuchera. on it. Just kind of stiff with his legs there. And Kuchera dips it, and Pete shanks that ball. This is a big, big moment in this match. That was the little cat. Carol Kuchera at his best. Sampras back to the body. Kuchera only three of nine now after that point on break points. Hughes, Sampras wisely going back to the well. Such a heads up player. He's got all the skills, all the shots. And he's also a smart player. That's what makes Pete Sampras great. It's a match that has gone two hours, 47 minutes. Very long first set because of the tiebreaker. The back came up short. Another body serve there. He hasn't been using it as much in the deuce court. Caught Kuchera off guard. Puts a little uh, side spin on this one. Kuchera <laughs> ah, just almost hits him, really. Advantage Sampras. Oh, oh. oh. oh my goodness. Yes, Pete wants a little help. A little sarcastic Let everybody applause know, yes. led by Sampras. Pete Sampras is a very sarcastic man. Doesn't show it very often on the court, but very much so in the locker room. I thought that serve was an ace myself. I reacted just like Pete did. Deuce. Back to Deuce. the score Sampras trying to level it at three in the fourth set that first serve. Ah. huge serve under Sampras Sampras blowing it by Kuchera. Advantage Sampras, 131 miles per hour on that last serve. And in the corner, that's going to be largely unreturnable for most people. Certainly the viewers at home wouldn't want to see that one hit their club on Sunday. Excellent return by Kuchera. Leans on the forehand, guesses right. That ball came back almost as fast as it got to Carroll. Sampras not able to handle a half volley. Deuce number four. You just feel this is a big momentum game here. 
Teixeira wins this game. Spells big trouble for Pete Sampras in the fourth set. I don't like Pete's chances of having to come back and break serve, particularly the way he's been flagging balls when Kuchera has been serving. Set. Second serve. There we see Pete going again out to the forehand on the second serve. Had some success with that. Kuchera might be looking for it this time. No, Sampras should have done more with the volley. He had the court. Kuchera quick gets back over there. And Sampras set himself very athletically there, really for the first time we've seen this whole set at the net, as he knew Kuchera was going to get back to this. This volley here he should have put away, Kuchera. didn't do enough. Kuchera hits a decent passing shot. Pete, just not enough. Couldn't push off with his left foot there, really, to get out there. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up. On 9 p.m. here in London, break point. And Sampras comes back with the rocket serve. Yeah, he changes him up there, too. Goes out to the backhand Hughes. rather than the body. Pete Sampras always aware of where he serves on the big points. Everyone's kind of keeping score out there when, when they're playing. They're paying attention on those points where everybody's going. Sampras certainly doing that himself. Advantage Sampras. And again, the changeup. Advantage Sampras. Coming up on nine here, Marv. There can't be too much tennis left today. Pete Sampras can just keep on serve here in this set. It's crucial for him not to get behind a break. So Sampras, Sampras evens up this fourth set at three. Fighting off Carol Kuchera, who was hanging around. Three games all, four set. This is where I, I would expect Pete Sampras. He, he's got to know it's nearing 9 o'clock. He's it's a little darker there. I Thank expect you. him to come up to the umpire and say, hey, how much longer are we going to play? You know, start pushing them. He, he has a lot of weight here. Perhaps a weight after this game. Well, up here in the right-hand corner of your screen in the gray jacket, you can barely see Alan Mills, 15 who's the tournament referee here, and makes that decision. He's waiting courtside. He knows that he's going to be needed here soon. You mentioned the respect, understandably so, that Sampras has been a great champion, does receive here at uh, Wimbledon. So from the officiating point of view, we have seen objectivity. A lot of players would say, hey, this guy gets all the calls, but that has not been the case here this evening. Oh, uh, we haven't seen that. But we have seen Sampras right there run around, just bomb the forehand inside out. 15-0. I would expect them to give Pete a little more leeway here. Six-time champion. He's a member of the club. Everyone who wins here gets a membership honorary. Wish he'd pass one on to me. It'd be a nice place. I believe there is a clause in your commentating contract where you are an honorary member. Right in the corner. And all of a sudden, Pete Sampras, he's got 15.30 here. 15, Might start 30. thinking about laying it out there putting a little more effort in Carol Kuchera's service games. Try and sneak this break. Double great point for Sampras. Thank you. Game. 
Ball. 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 Sampras breaks serve, takes a four games to three lead in the fourth set. Welcome back to Wimbledon. As we've hit the 9 o'clock hour here in London, big day of sports on TNT. Tonight, following our Wimbledon coverage, it's the 2000 NBA Draft Live from the Target Center in Minneapolis. Pete Sampras hoping to close out the match, playing despite the ankle injury suffered in the third love. set, coming on strong against Carol Kuchera. He's coming on, and he wants to close it out now. He's changing gears now that he has the break. Still hobbling, though. Yeah, he's trying to fight it off. I'm just really tired of seeing Pete Sampras get injured 30, 15. in tournaments like this, the Australian Open. He didn't, we didn't really know it until after he lost to Andre Agassi in the semifinals there, but came up injured, didn't play for a while. I just really, it's frustrating for me as a friend to watch his body break down. 14-15. You know, time and time, time out, Pete Sampras' body breaks down in, particularly in tournaments where we have three out of five sets in Davis Cup this year again injured in the fifth match managed to just suck it up game seven do what he's doing right now serve his way to victory eighth service ace for sampras and looks like he will change strings Sampras's again he's looking at his racket three, four, pick seven. another racket up same tension as, as his other one and he's smart move by pete something that, that i would want to do go down there Grab a new racket, get to hit a few balls with it on Kuchera's serve, get the feel for it. Hasn't bothered Pete so much, but I think it helps. 15 love. Sampras with a 5-3 lead in the fourth set against Carol Kuchera. Comes off a first round victory over Wayne Black of Zimbabwe. Straight sets. Kuchera. 15 home. Has beaten Sampras once in six head-to-head -head matchups. Took place two years ago in the quarterfinals of the Australian Open. He did it in four. Their last meeting in the 99 World Team Cup in Germany on clay, won by Sampras. Sampras takes a rip as we see Paul Anacone and his fiance Bridget Wilson in the box. They're ready to get home. They want Pete off this court with a victory. Pete chasing some history. The record of Roy Emerson. 14-15. Actually, he and Sampras tied with 12 Grand Slam championships. Sampras looking for number 13, looking for his seventh Wimbledon crown the last eight years. So, Kuchera holds serve to bring it with a 5-4. Sampras will serve when we come back. Back on center court, Pete Sampras about to serve for the match, fighting off that injured ankle. 15. And opens with an ace. The official word on the injury, Jim, it's called an inflamed shin above the left ankle. I don't know how you do that, really. I mean, unless you hit your shin with your racket, I'm not sure how that happens. 13 low. As we see Sampras open up for, with two aces this game, number 10 on the match. That's a low number for Pete Sampras, but he doesn't care. All he wants is to get out of here with a victory. Sampras, the big moments coming up with the big serves. Such a clutch performer. 13-15. Well, he double faults. And 
Now that is his eighth double fault. He's upset with himself. I don't think he should be too worried. He's still got a couple serves in hand here. There you go. Nice free point. Takes Pete Sampras to match point. Double match point. Sampras fighting off the injury. Difficult first set. Won it in a tiebreaker. Kuchera back to win Thank the you. second. Sampras hanging on in the third. Trying to wrap it here. Fault called there. Pete gives a little wry grin. <laughs> Another double fault. 20-30. That's okay. He's got another match point. Two more serves at it. <laughs> Carol Kuchera refuses to go away. Deuce. Red Deuce. Thank you. Advantage Sampras. Sampras with his third ace of the game. Number 11 for Just the match. Continues to dig himself out of any holes that he creates. Double faults a couple times in this Please. game, but still manages to come up with a big ace. Takes him to match point number three. And a fine passing shot under pressure for Kuchera. What a magnificent effort by the 26-year-old Carol Deuce. Kuchera. See Pete going. Looks like he's actually going to go back to the other racket he was playing with. Interesting, he serves three aces, two double faults with that racket. And that was, the, that was the wrong racket. Second deuce. He's had a couple of double faults in this game. Make it three. Advantage Kuchera. And that's nine for the match for Sampras. Okay, big point for Pete. Please. Going to try and rely on his serve. Kuchera backs away. Wants to let the crowd noise come down. Cute. Sampras pumping himself up, giving some fist, getting some energy out there. Pounds that ace down the middle. I like to see Pete Sampras showing some energy out there. I love it. 12th base. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. For Sampras, his fourth this game. Oh, oh fire. Of Sampras. Does he have one more left? I'm going to go out on a limb here and say yes. Match point number four. Crowd very animated right now. They're they're into it. Please. And that'll do it. It was not easy. Pete Sampras fighting off the ankle injury. Three six to one. To advance Seven, six, to three, the third six, round. Six three six four. A terrific effort for Carol Kuchera. The crowd responding to Pete Sampras. They have to recognize one of the great champions to ever play on this court. See him time and again coming through adversity today. No exception. The shin injury sustained in the third set. He still manages to climb his way through this match. Darkness is approaching. Pete Sampras got the job done today. He has to feel very good about that, Marv. A match. That went nearly three hours, two hours, 55 minutes.
both players receiving the applause from this capacity crowd at center court. Pete acknowledging the crowd, about the only time he won't complain about flash photography right now as they're taking his picture as he leaves the court. And he'll be on his way back to the locker room. Ladies and gentlemen, see the trainer in the immediately. Security, First thing he will want to do is go see the sure trainer, get that injury taken care of, get himself established. He knows he's got a long way to go in this tournament. A dramatic win for Pete Sampras, struggling at times due to the ankle injury. We'll check in with Tim Ryan in our studio when we come back. The 2000 Championships Wimbledon on TNT are brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. Located on the web at mbusa.com. By IBM. www.wimbledon.org, the official website of the Millennium Championships, is an IBM e-business. By Zocor. Talk to your doctor about Zocor today. And by March 1st. Here's to being first. March 1st. A new world. A new way. www.marchfirst.com. At 9.13 London time in the evening, another beautiful evening in London town. It has been an action-packed day. We've got lots more tennis to come. The Williams sisters played earlier today. We're going to bring you some action from those matches. Also, Anna Kornikova, the glamour girl, was on court today, and we'll bring you some of that as well. Just uh, moments ago, you saw the end of the sampras Kuchera match. High drama, again, involving the uh, champion Pete Sampras going for his fourth here in a row, his seventh all-time at Wimbledon. He's doing it with an inflamed shin now, we're told, as a result of the injury in the third set. He delivered a service winner to finally close it out at 6-4 in the fourth set over Carol Kuchera. Now, the upside of Sampras' situation, despite what could be a problem injury, is that there are no seeds left there except the number nine, Thomas Engfist, and next he'll take on the American Justin Gimmelstab in the third round action. Now, coming up also this evening, because we've got a lot of time left bringing you tennis from Wimbledon tonight, you're going to be seeing one of our commentators playing tennis. That would be Martina Navratilova. Martina, the ladies' double champion here seven times, is trying for another one. Why not? A little comeback. This is how things looked a little longer ago for Martina in the old days. She also won nine singles championships here, and you're seeing some of those great days for her here. She got to carry that plate nine times out on the lawns of Wimbledon. You'll see her in doubles action along with lots more when we return.